because of the bungling of the prosecution's case. The prosecution rushed to prosecute them and rushed to have them locked up, denied them the opportunity at that stage to demonstrate that they were only expressing themselves within a context. So it is wrong for you to secure yourself a standpoint which you impute to be unlawful when you have taken it out of context. So this is a lesson to the police that before you rush someone to court on an alleged hate speech offense, on an alleged crime of incitement, gather enough evidence, get the proper witnesses. There was no video available that could be authenticated. So it is wrong to tender a sham piece of evidence and at the end of the day hope to secure a conviction. In the end, you injure people, you injure their rights, you injure their families, you waste time and create false hope in the public that there is indeed a persecution, there is a crime that is being persecuted, there is a crime that is actually going to be, in the end, uh, result in a conviction. And the court has said there is nothing tabled by the police, tabled by the prosecution, by means of which a conviction can be sustained. So we have wasted public resources. Judicial time and funds have been expended because of poor, shoddy work. And above all, for false, malicious persecution. It is wrong. This is not the way we should be using our public resources. But in the end, this also is testimony why our justice system exists to vindicate the innocent and to convict they who are indeed supposed to be convicted. They have been acquitted.